from foreign adversaries to domestic terrorism to climate change. We assess the world will face more intense and cascading global challenges. Today, the nation's top intelligence officials detailed the most pressing threats to Americans. They say we now need to broaden the definition of national security, focusing less on bombs and more on bugs, cyber bugs. China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea have the ability right now to conduct cyber attacks. Is this problem getting better or worse? Uh, to bluntly uh, answer your question, our adversaries continue to get better at what they're doing. Director of the National Security Agency, General Paul Nakasone, says cyber attacks could threaten the nation's power grid or gas pipelines. Increasingly, foreign adversaries use their cyber abilities to threaten American democracy by working to influence voters and sow discord in elections. Nakasone says the American government is improving its cyber defense, but that American cyber infrastructure remains vulnerable. These are uh, no longer a question of if a, an institution is going to be compromised, but when. In its annual threat report, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence highlighted China specifically as an emerging power and threat. Challenging the United States in multiple areas while pushing to revise global norms in ways that favor the authoritarian Chinese system. We're opening a new investigation in China every 10 hours, and I can assure the committee that's not because our folks don't have anything to do with their time. The threat assessment report also delves into the biggest global challenge today. COVID-19. Director Avril Haynes points out the report highlights the risks of future pandemics, including economic instability that could lead to surges in migration, collapsed governments, or internal conflict. The effect of the current pandemic will obviously continue to strain governments and societies over the coming year. And as the U.S. prepares to withdraw from Afghanistan, intel officials say threats from overseas terrorist organizations remain. And they say homegrown domestic terrorists, along with right-wing extremist groups, pose an even greater threat. We see this threat manifest itself in individuals who are inspired by al-Qaeda and ISIS and those who commit terrorist acts for ideological goals stemming from other influences, such as racial bias and anti-governmental sentiment. Now, this hearing today is especially timely given that President Biden announced that we're going to be withdrawing all of our troops uh, out of Afghanistan because the uh, intelligence assessment and the threat assessment that uh, we heard about today also details Afghanistan, and it says that the Taliban is still gaining ground there. So expect this report to potentially be cited by a number of lawmakers here on Capitol Hill, especially those who think that leaving uh, Afghanistan when we're going to do it is not the right decision. Reporting live tonight in Washington, D.C., Joe Khalil, News Nation.